back in the area that I guess right now we're just gonna refer to as the area that is uh, home to the Laughing Beast. And uh, we're headed down the old forestry road that's shut down. We moved a couple of barricades and came down here. And on the way back there, it's way that way where we're headed. But we actually saw a little pull off and this weird open path that goes straight up this hill up to this ridge. Now we're pretty sure there used to be settlements out here based on the topography and the history of the area. So we wanted to just come and check this old, what appears to be an old roadbed out. So we're gonna head up this hill, get on this ridge, kind of get a, a lay of the land from there, but we're really just doing some exploring today. And then when it gets closer to nightfall, we'll probably make our way down to the area where we heard that noise near the area where the witness has actually encountered the laughing beast. But we're gonna check out this area around here right now. Today has been rainy, so it's actually wet and rainy out here, but it's actually stopped for a little bit. So it's actually not a thousand degrees for one. You know, I was thinking this was going to be an old logging road because we know areas near here have been logged before, but there's some old growth trees through here. Yeah. So. It wouldn't shock me to find a cemetery up here. Yeah. True. Uh, this was something once upon a time. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Go over here. This would be. This looks exactly like the areas we've seen before um, in the dark corner area on top of hills and ridges. This is exactly kind of the, the topography you would find in an area where you would actually find an old cemetery. I'm gonna look at some old plats and old maps and stuff and see if there might have been a cemetery here at one time because everything kind of matches up with what we've seen before and what we've found before. Doesn't. Move over here. Try to play ahead. Is that stone? Yeah, there's stones all back through here. Yeah. Oh, we found a cemetery, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is an old. Yeah. These are just. These are just old, unset, like uncarved stones. Yeah. This is probably an old cemetery. Yeah. Up over here too. <laughs> they are laid out in a pattern. Yeah, this, this appears to be an old cemetery. Burial site of some kind. That one looks like oh. it had carving upon it once upon a time and it's just weathered off. Yeah. This one though, you can tell. Come here and look at it. Where was I at with it? Right here. Look, see where it snapped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty, um, looks pretty intentional on the placement for these two. I'm gonna go over there in a sec and I just wanna look at this one and then I wanna go over that way. Okay. Yeah, um, these, these are grave markers, I would say. Very, very old grave markers. Yeah. But I would say that these are great markers. Based on where they are, um, how they're placed, this is... The way this top of this hill has been cleared once upon a time yeah, and kind of leveled old, a little bit. This is an old burial ground. I'm not going far over here. I can see something. Is there more here? More here? All here in this flattened area. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's what we're looking at. 
definitely what we're looking at. Look at this. Like, all around this tree is kind of cleared out, and then there's these pieces of quartz and stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we've seen that before. Yes, we have. These did not get pulled up from the the tree roots either, uh, as the tree roots have grown, forced them to the surface. Come here and look. These are broken pieces that have been set. Well, look at this, come here. That was set on top of that. Yeah, it was. I just moved. All right, every time we've found this, we've had weird stuff happen. Look, all of that's just been placed on top of the dirt here. Yeah. You got some more, you got another field over here of them. Yeah. Yeah, this whole top over here. There's another section over there. Yeah. I'll check that out. We'll head back that way. There you go. There you go. Yep. See how these are? Yeah. Like this. Those are weathered, man. Yeah. This has a. Uh, this has a lot of iron content. Look at it. Yeah. Come here. Can I? Did you come over here? That has a lot of iron content. You see the oxidization mm -hmm. over here and then this. Yep. Uh, look at this. Uh, you got a mound over here. You just gonna walk by this? You just gonna walk by oh, that? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a bone. Uh-huh. On top of one of these stones. Yep. It's been broken on either end. Yeah. Look around, see if there's any other bones anywhere out through here. Just right there on top. So just one broken piece of bone. There's no other bones through here. Doesn't this kind of look like an altar in a way? Well, it's flat. <laughs> Offerings. Pretty weird. Yeah. Let's check the other side of the road we were looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This just, this strikes me as a cemetery. Yeah. The fog's rolling in, look at this. Yeah, it's starting to get hazy. Some of this up here is naturally occurring rock. Some of it has been milled and placed upright. A lot of these old Appalachian homesteads didn't really have fancy headstones. They might just grab some river rocks or just cut some stone out of the hill, shape it, do a real light inscription if you were lucky, and then just put it up as a headstone for you. Look at this, this has been cleared at one point and this land kind of leveled. Yeah. Uh, that fell and then grew into it. Oh yeah, it did. Isn't that crazy? Grew around it. All right, so that bone is odd. We're in agreement. Mm -hmm. I mean, bones in the forest are not odd, but the fact that there's just one laid on that flat rock is strange. What did you say? It looked like an offering? Yeah, like an altar. Yeah. All these trees are kind of ringed with rocks. Yeah, I know. And it's not what we normally see where it's around like tree roots that have just come to the surface and forced the rock up. These do strike me as 
being a possible burial ground. Well, some of them look natural, but others, the one I saw over there, looked like it had been shaped, like it was a small headstone. Um, and the fact that part of this hilltop has been, had earth moved on it once before and kind of leveled out. The stones are all kind of staggered though, you know? Yeah. I just had Joe pull something out of the road for me. Um, we're heading back into the Laughing Beast area. Um, we're going down this old closed forest service road right now and just driving through this forest is freaky. It is so thick and so dark out here. You cannot see too deeply into the forest and it's just weird. It's just weird out here. There's a fog coming down and it's just, it makes you uneasy for sure. Here he comes. We're moving some vines that were across the road and I happen to glance into the woods next to us. Move over towards where that flat rock is. To your right. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So... remnants of an old stone wall, something, with some iron on top. There's a few pieces of old brick back over through here. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, there's pieces of it here on too. Metal. Here, you want to get well, some Well, you know, this is Part of a farm implement. Mm -hmm. There's bricks. Like which part bricks. So there was farming that took place back through here in some of these leveled fields out here. That's a brick. Yeah, so, there's really good ones, like right here as well. Yeah, and then this is this is obviously a something. It, 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 this has been. It doesn't look like a fire. Flattened and milled out, so. There's a structure once upon a time that I think we're standing on still. Yeah. I think it's been so covered with leaves and all that that, yeah, look right over here where this drop off is. Well, I think we definitely know there was uh, settlements back here. Mm hmm. So, probably as late as what, the uh, late 1800s? Yeah. Maybe early 1900s? I don't even think that close. I think further back than that. That's an uh, old gate over here. Yeah. I just thought that to you. I'm just going to keep rolling. Let's see what this says. Oh, uh, well, that's been. That's. Okay, it's half a gate. Um. works. Yeah. Well, let's see what's on here on the other side. No sign of the other half of it. Let's go beyond the gate, Jess. This doesn't even look like it was a road. No. At any point. Move on back down to yeah. our area before we lose light. We finally made it to the end of the road. We're back in the spot where we heard that wailing, that howling, that noise at nightfall last time we were out here. We still haven't heard what our witness describes as the laughing beast, but I don't think personally I'm ready to hear that or experience that, but I'm definitely ready to 
hear those yells that we heard last time. That was just absolutely wild. And uh, we're gonna just see if we can capture some good audio today. I think that's our main goal down here is just capture good audio. Do you smell that like formaldehyde smell? Yes. What is that? I have no clue. But you can smell it clearly, like distinctly, right? Yes. It smells like formaldehyde over here. It doesn't smell like old oak? No. Um, it doesn't have that smell to it. I don't know what that smell is. It smells like formaldehyde. It doesn't have like a tannin kind of smell to it, you know, so. But you get from old wood, it doesn't have that smell to it. It's really bad over here. I don't know, that's got formaldehyde smell. What did you hear? Oh. We're getting close to sunset. I know, I'm trying to hurry. Hold on. Snap. No. So down here is a roundabout area. It's kind of a turnaround. It is circular. It's perfect. It's the greatest vantage point we could possibly have for this. We're a little elevated. Everything drops down on every on either side of us. Um, Right now, we've got audio stations set up all the way around. We're about to set up some more, but this is what we got set up right now. This is the Zoom H1N. It's a multi-directional recorder. We've got that over here, just getting a baseline of everything that's going on while we set up. So if we miss anything, we've got this running over here away from everything else. This, we've got our Wildtronics Parabolic mic and dish um, that's connected to a Zoom H4n Pro that's going to be recording. This is our big mama jamma when it comes to recorders. We've got it going in here. We've got it connected to a power bank. So it's running on the power bank here. This is run by Phantom Power plugged into the H4n Pro. So we're going to be able to spin this around and if we hear it coming from any direction we can point the dish in that direction hopefully capture some of these noises that we're getting out of the woods over here this is our pulsar uh, axion xq38 thermal we're gonna have this on a tripod 
We're gonna hopefully, I know the vegetation is insanely thick in the summer, but hopefully if we hear something, sound like something moving. It does sound like something moving. Recording. Standing still. Get anything. What? Did you get anything? It sounded like something was walking. Alright. All right. Back to it. Um, Joe's gonna grab the drop recorders. So we'll have those to put out. Um, our main goal tonight is to try to get some audio. Some real audio of what we heard last time. Here's what I think we should. Sound like a, oh, oh. Yeah. Let's set these real quick before it gets much darker. Let's do it. So, I just want these in case anyone sneaks up behind us. Walking away. Walking away. Walking away. All right. <clears throat> Our drop recorders are set. Those are just in case anything kind of comes around behind us. We've got everything that's sensitive. All the instrumentation that's sensitive is pointed in the direction that we heard the sounds from before. We're kind of banking that they're gonna come from that direction again. Um, we're hoping they do. If they don't, then they don't. We'll move it. We'll adjust as needed. So now, it's a whole lot of, uh, sit around and wait. Listen, I've got my thermal in my belt. We've got the other thermal here on the tripod. So, now we just wait, right? Yep. All right. So we're in a big clearing here. We're basically in a fishbowl. Very thick foliage all the way around us, very thick forest. This is where our witnesses said that they would come to and they would hear something crash through the woods towards them. And then they heard the laughing thing that night coming towards them and they got out. So we've got, we're ringed with audio recorders. It's going to pick us up talking right now, but that's fine. Um, we'll see if we can hear anything tonight. We've got about 20 minutes until sunset, so we're at dusk. This is usually when our witness hears things off into the woods. 
I'm gonna take a look over here with my thermal. Just see if there's anything out there. I'm using noise canceling headphones to monitor right now. We're 15 minutes from sunset. Picking up raindrops falling off the leaves. Yep, I'm getting raindrops. I was getting raindrops and bugs. <laughs> yeah. We're in the sunset. What do you think about me doing like a, I don't know, trying to make contact? You gonna do a whoop? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I tried the tree knocking thing. Yeah. But it seems like it, I don't know. Should I do a whoop or just do something? Not trying to be them, trying to be me. Yeah. You know, I don't have it recording right now. Go and do your whoop. Should I do a whoop? Should I do something else? Do whatever you think is best. What if I did a cicada noise? Do a cicada noise. My cicada noise. Go right ahead. You ready? Mm-hmm. Deafen myself here. They don't like cicadas. Maybe I blended in too well. Maybe, yeah, because maybe it sounded too good. <gasps> the bugs are extremely loud, like extremely loud. Everywhere I point the parabolic, all I hear is just crickets and, and just bugs all in the forest. It rained pretty hard today, so everything's really come alive tonight. Um, in addition to that, because of the rain, I'm getting all the rain droplets kind of falling in the forest. So there's a lot of interference when it comes to getting audio right now. We're still gonna listen for a few hours and see if we catch anything, but that's uh, kind of how fishing expeditions go. Sometimes you catch something, sometimes you don't. But we're going to keep going and see if we get anything. If not, we'll be right back out in a few days and try it again. <laughs>